Hi, I'm Alexis Deboshnik. I'm still in quarantine and have truly forgotten how many days it's been at this point. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make milk buns, a very quarantine-friendly recipe. Milk buns are special because they use a type of starter called a tangzong. This Japanese technique allows the dough to absorb more liquid, creating a lighter, fluffier bun. To get started, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of water, and three tablespoons of milk right to the pot. Okay, so I'm gonna set the pan over medium-high heat. This is gonna come together really quickly. You're just gonna whisk until the starter becomes kind of like a paste. This should happen between 30 and 60 seconds. As soon as it does, take it off the heat. Okay, now I'm gonna transfer the starter into a bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it chill in the fridge for at least 15 minutes, but up to an hour until it gets cold. Once the tang zong is chilled, it's time to make the dough. I've got three cups of flour in here. You really should use bread flour, but because of the quarantine I'm using all purpose, I think it should be fine. I'm gonna add a fourth cup of sugar, a tablespoon of yeast, and one teaspoon of salt, and whisk it all together. Moving on to the wet ingredients. I've got one cup of warm milk. You can just zap it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. I've got a half stick of butter, one egg, and of course the chilled tang zong. I'm gonna whisk it all together. The tang zong will be pretty congealed at this point, so you really need to whisk it aggressively to break it up. So it's important that the milk is warm so that the yeast can bloom once it's all combined. Cold milk is like, you know, you wanna make a cozy spot for the yeast. Okay, I've got my dry ingredients, my wet ingredients, and a grease bowl that I'm gonna let the dough rise in. I'm actually gonna use my hands for this. I'm just adding the wet ingredients little by little. You have to knead this dough for 20 minutes, which I know sounds insane, but you want it to get really smooth and elastic. So once you have a shaggy dough, just turn it out onto a clean surface. It really is gonna take a while to come together. I've got some flour here that I'm just gonna add to make it a little more doable, but adding too much flour is gonna make a dense bun, so you wanna go pretty sparingly. It's hard to imagine that this is gonna turn into something, but I swear it will. Look at this, like a swamp monster. If you have a stand mixer, now would be a great time to use one. I'm at Ryan's, he doesn't have one. My stand mixer's at home, so I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. <sighs> this is insane. This is a great quarantine workout. <laughs> it takes a lot of core strength here. Look at that dough. My hands are barely sticky at this point. It's one cohesive ball. This is the sign that you're almost there. I bet I have five more minutes to go. Pardon the panting, this is really exhausting. Y'all, I brought in backup. The dough is ready, it's smooth, it's elastic, and a good way to tell if it's done is just by putting your finger in, and if the dough springs back like that, you're good to go. I'm gonna put it in a grease bowl, set a towel over it, and let it rest for about an hour until it's doubled in size. Whew. I mean, I feel so proud. She's so beautiful. I'm gonna roll out the dough, make some buns, and then it's gotta rise one more time before we can bake it. So just use your fingers to kind of scoop underneath, roll it out into a square. It's okay if the dough deflates a little, that's gonna happen. Wow, oh my God, I'm just, I'm obsessed with this dough. I should have mentioned that this is a great activity if you've got a lot of time on your hands. I'm just, I mean, this is really, I think, the best milk bun dough I've ever made. So once you've rolled it out to, let's see, about a half inch, you're gonna divide it into nine equal pieces. I'm gonna use a rectangular baking dish because that's what I have. Make sure it's greased with something. I'm using olive oil, you could use butter, canola oil. Again, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna use my hands to make this into more of a square. Okay, it's ready to cut. So you can just eyeball this. 
Oh, it's so satisfying to cut. Wow, I wish you guys could feel this dough. It's truly like a pillow. Okay, so take a piece of the dough, flip it over, and you're just gonna tuck all the corners in like that, making a little bun. So it should be kind of like pinched at the bottom. Flip it over, there's a bun. Then you can put it right into the baking sheet. It's so squishy. If you're quarantined with a few people, it's a really good group activity. If you're quarantined by yourself, it's a good way to pass the time. You can almost think of it like you're wrapping a present, folding all the corners in, bringing them together. I've got the last bun and I'm done. So now, gotta let it rise one more time for about 30 to 45 minutes. They're gonna rise all together like a little milk bun family. Our buns have risen and oh my God, they're beautiful. I'm gonna brush them with an egg wash. I'm using one egg with a tablespoon of milk. You could use water or heavy cream. Egg wash is just gonna give them a really nice glossy finish. So make sure to brush them all over the top so no patches are left bare. If you have poppy seeds or sesame seeds, you can sprinkle them on top. Ooh, you could also do like an everything bagel spice or za'atar. And you wanna make sure to brush the seams too. I know Thanksgiving is a ways away, but you could also serve these in lieu of Parker House rolls. I did that one year and they were really the star of the show. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven. Pop them in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. The kitchen smells amazing, I think they're done. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. I'm gonna let these cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then we can break one open. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Oh my God. These are the perfect buns. I wasn't sure if the all-purpose flour would work out, but these are the best milk buns I've ever made. You can use these for breakfast sandwiches, for dinner rolls, for regular sandwiches, or you can eat the whole tray at once, like I'm about to do. Wow. I mean, incredible. If you like this video, you can like or subscribe to my channel, and as always, follow me on Instagram. Don't even need butter. <laughs>